Hello everybody, Neil Bunny here, and welcome to Risk of Rain 2 mod. Today I am showcasing an ending mod. I get a new ending. Uh, the first, okay, so I believe the mod is called A Moment Haunted. I'll put the link in the description below, but A Moment Haunted. Judging by the name, you can probably guess we have to obliterate, and yes we do. But first, we have to get to stage 5. We gotta get to Sky Meadow, so... I've also decided that for the sake of making these videos easier, as like painful for me because I find the game too easy doing this, but as painful as it is for me, I'm going to showcase mods on Drizzle. Unless I find it too easy, like super, like I will actually fall asleep and I'll do Rainstorm, but I'm going to start showcasing mods on easy just so I can get a move on to show on everything I want quicker. Yes, I do have the debug thing on. Can I open it now? No, I cannot open it now. I would like to do that. Wait, no, it's not that, right? Okay, I do have the debug thing on, but just to get to showing things easier, I'm gonna do drizzle, just to make this process quicker. And is it not actually enabled? <sighs> Bulwark's haunt is the name of mod. Bulwark's haunt. That's what I was trying to do here. As I was saying before, drizzle to make things easier. And I'm also going to enable... Uh, where is it? Dissonance, because I don't know if it's true, but I feel like I get through stages faster. Like, I get money faster with dissonance with certain monsters. I could be very wrong on that, but I'm enabling dissonance also. I've been doing it every run. So, Bulwark's Haunt unlocks a skin, which needs you to go to a moment haunted and get through that by obliterating. Now every base survivor has a skin for this and I've unlocked a few. Uh, like Commando's there. They're all called Ghoul, I'm pretty sure. Have I done Huntresses? Yeah, done Huntress. And I've done Captains. I'm like a couple others. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to showcase uh, with a survivor I have unlocked it with. Just so I don't cheaply get it with the drizzle wind because i've been doing it all with monsoon we'll do void fiend Alrighty, see you guys in stage five i swear to god if it takes me to the slumbering satellite oh my god the slumbering satellite fuck off this shit Alrighty, folks, we are here. Stage 5. Now, we need to pick up something that's here, but it is very obvious. You just gotta look around a little. In fact, you may be able to see it right over there. Can you see it yet? Can you, can you tell it's different? There's two Eki right here. See the command defile? Bulwark's grave. You pick it up, you eat it, it goes in your inventory, and it's a yellow item. Interestingly enough. Activating equipment recruits some boss on maze in a 25 meter radius to your team for 25 seconds. Send, send to the realm beyond if used at the obelisk. And by use, it means if you obliterate at the obelisk with a sneer inventory. So let's do just that. I, well, I guess that requires going to stage 7. Alright, well, see you guys at stage 7. Ah, uh, sorry buddies, I tried not to attack you. It was my friend, the now dead vulture. <laughs> but you can't say I didn't try with my better chill. Don't say it towards me. It was like... Last week. It was like... High 60s, low 70s all week. Today. The high is only like... 40 something, like 43. It's so ridiculous. Like, what happened? Okay, we are in a moment fractured, which is good. We need to get to the obelisk with the sword inventory. I was just gonna say in hand, but in inventory is close enough. Ow. Yep, 
let's do it. And here we are. A moment haunted. Now pay attention to the... the oh, you guys can't see it. Oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, pay attention to the text on the bottom left. There's like a little... something. It's gonna constantly taunt us. I like call some better and whatnot. They're not wrong. So now on the top right, you say you see clear wave one, defeat the resurgent spirits. That's the ones with like the green, these green ones. You have to go through a lot of waves of this. I want to say close to 10 waves. And fun fact, every enemy you've killed will come back here as one of these resurgent spirits. And then some, I'm pretty sure. It adds others in as well because when I first got this mod and first went through it, I tested it with the debug. I started to run and then immediately, immediately went to stage eight. No, I immediately went to a moment fracture, gave myself the sword, and then came here without killing a single enemy, and the enemy still spawn. So it does add some. There's no extra dialogue or anything if you go in here without killing anything, which is interesting. Kind of wish they, they did that, but they probably don't expect you to just do that. Which is fair. Yeah, this is all there is to the area. Below it's just a bottomless pit like normal. The reds, the red wisps, they will spawn no matter what. They do not count as part. They are not a resurged spirit, a resurgent spirit. They don't add. They don't like count towards the goal. See, there's only a certain number of enemies that spawn in each wave, which are the green ones. You have to kill the green ones to progress to the next wave. Oh, hello. But um. You know, you could be. It could be like a crab sitting in the corner for your the last one you need to kill to progress, but Red Wisps will still spawn to try and take you out. Just to keep something going. Play paying attention to the text down below, the stuff after every single wave. And there are a few different, like, there are a few different dialogues, not options, but you'll say, you'll say a few, or, how do I don't with this? Like after wave one, he has a few different lines that he could that it could say. Same with after wave two, etc. He ultimately means the same thing, it's just different wording, which is cool. And yes, the boss, the boss is dropping mods, or the boss is dropping items is a separate mod, it's not part of this mod. So normally, unless you play with, um, Sacrifice on, then you won't get items in here. Woo! Remember, I'm playing on Drizzle. Just to make things easier on myself, for showing you guys stuff, so... <laughs> Monsoon is... A lot. Also, you probably want a somewhat decent computer or a like turn the graphical settings down because uh, on Monsoon, if you play like me and just kill everything for money, a lot of enemies spawn <laughs> and it lags my computer to hell. It's still playable, but goddamn, you've been warned. You'll probably win though, because you have Sacrifice on and 
getting all of those stage eight plus the items you'll gain from killing enemies in here, which it will be a lot. That'll definitely help you out. Oh yeah, also when you come in here, uh, the blade gets taken away, which I actually like because before when I first found the mod, the blade didn't get taken away. It stayed in your inventory. And when it did, it would still recruit friendly and it would still recruit hostile enemies to your side. And that includes the green ones you have to kill. So if you happen to kill everything else, but you had some of the green ones on your side, you just have to sit there and wait for them to like de -aggro. And if you're like me, you should come in here with a gesture or a few. And same with the fuel cells, your equipment goes off constantly. Which means you'll be waiting a lot. It's very annoying. That's all. I don't know if you. I don't know if you saw. Um, I think maybe covering it. Yeah, a wave modifier. There's like unique modifiers that waves could have. And then the configuration settings. You can make it so like every. I think you can make it so like every wave has a modifier. If you want, no waves had a modifier. Only certain ones do. Not certain ones, but like they're only randomly like up here. What was that? Oh, hey, I already had that, but I'll take another one, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Oh, here we go. I think I did it. Yep. Whoever this is, I'm guessing Providence, but whoever this is... I, I already got it, so you, so you wouldn't see it, but... Yeah. They turn you into a wisp if you survive it all, which is... Oh, that counts as a moment whole? Oh, I guess be one of that if you have the altered mod. A moment whole. Or uh, a moment haunted counts as a moment whole, I guess. Yeah, if you beat Bulwark's Haunt, you get the ghoul skin for said survivor. Cool little mod. Make sure your computer's ready. So it can handle all the enemies if you do play on Monsoon. Or I guess Typhoon too if you have other or whatever difficulties you have on. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you guys later. After I readjust Neo real quick before I forget. There we go. Bye bye.